John chapter 8. Then went each to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Early in the morning he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such women. So what do you say? This they said to, te they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, Let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the older ones. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus stood up and said to her, woman where are they has no one condemned you she said no one lord and jesus said neither do i condemn you go and from now on sin no more again jesus spoke to them saying i am the light of the world whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have a light of life so the pharisees said to him you are bearing witness about yourself your testimony is not true jesus answered even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true. For I know where I came from and where I'm going, but you do not know where I come from and where I'm going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, Therefore, where is your father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. These words he spoke in the treasure, treasury as he taught in the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. So he said to them again, I am going away and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself, since he says, Where am I going, you cannot come? He said to them, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you, I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much to judge, but he who sent me is true. And I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the father. So Jesus said to them, when you have lifted up the son of man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority but just speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. As he spoke these things, many came to believe in him. Jesus, therefore, was saying to those Jews who had believed him, if you abide in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's offspring, and had never yet been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you shall become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. And the slave does not remain in the house forever. The son does remain forever. If therefore the son shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I know that you are... Abraham's offspring, yet you seek to kill me, because my word has no place in you. I speak the things which I have seen with my father, therefore you also do the things which you heard from your father. They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you are Abraham's children, do the deeds of Abraham. But as it is, you are seeking to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I heard from God, this Abraham did not do. You are doing the deeds of your father. 
And they said to him, We were not born of fornication, we have one Father, even God. Jesus said to them, If God were your Father, you would love me, for I have proceeded forth and have come from God. For I have not even come on my own initiative, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I am saying? It is because you cannot hear my word. You are of your father, the devil, and you want to do the desires of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. Whenever he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own nature. For he is a liar and the father of lies. But because I speak the truth, you do not believe me. Which one of you convicts me of sin? If I speak truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears the words of God. For this reason you do not hear them, because you are not of God. The Jews answered and said to him, Do we not say rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. But I do not seek my glory. There is one who seeks and judges. Truly, truly, I say to you, if anyone keeps my word, he shall never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died in the prophets also. And you say, If anyone keeps my word, he shall never taste of death. Surely you are not greater than our father Abraham who died. The prophets died too. Whom do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify, glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God. And you have not come to know him, but I know him. And if I say that I do not know him, I shall be a liar like you. But I do know him and keep his word. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. The Jews therefore said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was born, I am. Therefore, they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out to the temple.